Hey folks, uh, recently I've had a few people ask me uh, what software that I use to to edit my audio files to extract EVPs uh, from paranormal investigations. And um, I use a multiple uh, variety of, of audio software, um, but I'm going to go over Audacity with you uh, simply because it is a, a free program and it's, it's fairly simple to use. Anybody could do this. Um, with a little bit of help. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you how to clean up the audio to remove that background noise and static and things like that. Uh, but before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about um, audio codecs that are used to compress audio files like MP3, Windows Media uh, Audio, uh, different compression formats and the disadvantages in my opinion. Um, the first thing that happens when a voice recorder records in a compressed format, like MP3, for example, because that's the most common, uh, there's several things that ha takes place that you know most people are completely unaware of. Um, and the, the biggest thing is that it is trying to save space on the media because compression actually makes the file smaller, which is m what most people want. But when you're doing paranormal investigations and you're scanning for EVPs, this is not such a good idea and I'll show you why. Uh, the first thing that happens when a codec compresses a file is it will remove any audio that the human ear can't hear. So the frequencies above what the human ear can hear, like this, it's deleted. It's not even recorded. Anything below what the human ear can hear, like down here, it's deleted. And at the end, as you can see, it made the file smaller. Now, the bad thing about that is, is parts of these audio files that were removed automatically could possibly contain EVPs. So whenever you can, if you can, always record in a raw audio format. Uh, okay, now having said all that, let's get back to Audacity. Uh, down, it's a free program. Down below is a link to use for you to go and download this software. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is when I open up an, a, media, a media file, uh, whether it doesn't matter what audio format it is, it, this is what I do. The first thing I do is I remove all the background noise and static. Uh, and the way you do this in Audacity is you find an area of the audio recording where there's where there's silence, where there's no talking, um, you know, where it's as quiet as possible, like this area right here, or this area right here or even in here but there may be a little talking going there so we're gonna we're gonna select this area right here and what you do is you just left mouse click and drag and you select you know a second or two seconds you will go up to effect and then you will go down to noise reduction this window will pop up and what we're doing now is we're getting a noise profile in other words we're saying this is the background noise this is what I want to clean up and remove from my audio file so you will click get the no noise profile. So now the noise profile is done. Okay, so at this point what you would do is in most cases you would select the entire format. You can go to select all or you could just drag left mouse click and highlight the, the entire file. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to do just from here to the end only because I want to show you the difference between the cleaned up part of the audio and the part that wasn't cleaned up. So now that I have this this file highlighted or this area highlighted, you go back up to effect and you go down to noise reduction again. Except this time we already have our noise profile so we don't need to click that again. So we're going to go down here and we're going to click OK. And as you can see right here, you can see how much of that noise was removed. Um, now I can play a couple sec seconds of it so you can see the difference. Three. So it's obviously a huge difference uh, in the, the quality, uh, the background noise anyway. Uh, now at the same time, you have to be really careful because if you have uh, a very faint EVPs, sometimes that, that noise reduction will even make that harder to hear. So you have to be careful with that. Um, now suppose this section right here is an EVP. This is what I want to save for my 
for my uh, files as, as an EVP. You left mouse click, you highlight the EVP. I would go four to five seconds before and four to five seconds after, especially if there's some kind of context that's important to the EVP. So you would select that area. You will go up to export and then export selected audio because that's what we have highlighted. We selected that audio. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep the, the file name the same, but what I'm going to do is I am going to put in the timestamp. And as we can see here, it was about four and a quarter seconds into this audio file. So I will type four underscore two five. That way I know I'm four and a quarter seconds into this audio. And then I will save it. Now this is a PCM, 16-bit PCM. PCM is a raw audio format, okay? Now there's a whole bunch of different ones you could do, but just save it as a signed 16-bit uh, PCM. And you can save it to your desktop or wherever you like to save it. And you just save it. In here, you can put your name here. You can put the track title, which could be the location, or you know, you can put the date and year in there, or any other comments you may have, and that information will be embedded into your audio file. So when you right mouse click on the file and click properties, that information will be displayed. So then you just click OK. And we save that file to my desktop right here. 4701. 4.25 so we have that EVP now okay so basically that's how you clean up the audio and clip the uh, the EVPs from the audio file now one important thing you have to remember is I could be in here and I could be you know removing things I could be uh, just making all different kinds of, of edits to this thing I could bring bring the volume up and down you know all sorts of things like that but when you go to close the program, it's going to ask you if you want to save before closing. You always click no, because what we're editing here is our original file. We're extracting parts of that file, so we don't want to edit the original file. So we click no. If you click yes, any changes you made to this audio file are going to be permanent and you're going to lose your original audio recording. So you always click no. Uh, if there's any questions or comments or anything that uh, you'd like to ask me or talk to me about you can email me and like I said the download link for Audacity is at the bottom of the screen so uh, take care guys uh, thanks a lot for watching